Okay, you guys, this is part two of um, Femme's Fake Out. I'm pretty sure this is part two. Alrighty. Uh, I mean, I just, well, I mean, just smell the air. It feels like cold grass. What? Turn that shit down in here, shit. Exactly. That's exactly what I think, too. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I don't like his ass. I'm sorry, I don't. I just I don't know what you could possibly like about his bank ass. We're probably already connected more than on a personal level than uh, he and Julia have. Um, I will get him. I just need to push it a bit more towards a personal direction. Um, how should I do that? Uh, I, well, uh, <laughs> uh, lean in closer. I'm a little bit closer to him looking him in the eyes as I did. He didn't object. <laughs> I'm really happy you asked me to come with you to your beautiful country, Tristan. Me too, Rachel. I'm happy to have... Such a smart woman next to me at my meeting tomorrow. Look at this bull crap. We looked each other in the eyes. I looked down on his lips, letting him know that I could kiss him right there. However, I didn't want him to think I was up to something. I want him to make that move in that way. I'll know I've got him. An hour passed as we enjoyed our bottle of wine and amazing food. Um, Alyssa had made us his fucking mother. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> even though, oh, wait, even though this was my job and I was here to win his heart, I could feel we had a connection, a real one. Oh, damn, girl, please don't. Girl, you supposed to be murdering people. Um, Italy made me feel more like myself and we shared a genuine love for this land. It wasn't hard for him making me laugh either. I told myself that I only felt a connection to him because I was lonely. I also caught myself thinking about Lucas again as we sat there in this romantic setting. Oh yes, I was definitely lonely. I, uh, I think we better head home again. We don't want to be late uh, Mama's dinner for well, Mama's dinner. She'll go crazy. <laughs> we don't want that. Let me turn this damn ABC's shit off. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um. Thank you for showing me this place. I really understand why you love it. I'm glad I've only shown it to one other girl than you actually. Really, Julia? No, my sister, Maria. Girl. I don't know what the hell I was calling her before that, but I, I like Maria for her. No, you're flattering me. Well, you seem like the type who would appreciate it as much as I do. I definitely appreciate it. I would love to visit this place again sometime. Maybe we can arrange that. <sighs> He's so flirting with you, gorgeous. <laughs> Not that I like that, but good job. <laughs> I was to say, why is she thinking that to herself? Hell no, it's Lucas' little creepy ass in my ear. Oh yes, Lucas was right. He was definitely flirting with me. <laughs> Lucas' comment about not liking Tristan doing that almost made my heart flutter a bit. Let's go. Hey, turn up. Okay, come on, man. How long is this shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this amazing meal, Alyssa. I haven't had a meal uh, this good since the last time my dad cooked for me. Oh, your dad must be a great cook then. He he was. Oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm so sorry, Rachel. Don't be sorry, guys. You didn't know. It's a long time ago, too. My parents died in a car accident three days before my 14th birthday. Of course, the car accident was covered up, but they actually did die three days before my birthday. Um, did I say it was covered up or was, what, did I say covered up or made up? Let me say, go ahead. Yeah. 
Oh, was a cover up. Okay. I'm like, what? How could the hell? Okay. Um, you can imagine I hadn't I've had a hard time with the birthdays ever since. Okay. Oh my god, Rachel, that's terrible. Poor child. No child should ever go through what you did. No, that's terrible, Rachel. It reminds me. Do you guys watch the news today? It's uh it's apparently the tenth year anniversary of ooh, 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 of the fucking massacre. Gasp. Oh shit. But everything going on. I didn't even realize that it was the 10 years anniversary. This is the worst time ever. Someone could recognize me. Oh, good goddamn girl. You know, I don't got the time for the shit that they be going through, honey. First of all, hold on. Oh, that's the end. All right, you guys. Hope you guys enjoy part one and two, and I will be back shortly.